Um, then you have, you know, indigenous uh, indigenous practices, you know, praying to gods from uh, various traditions, uh, the Mayans, the Aztecs, or other indigenous practices. There's a practice known as ayahuasca uh, that involves the uh, consumption of uh, a kind of potion made from leaves of specific trees that then take you to higher states. So those are all crystals, um, amulets. Um, those are all those are all examples of conjurings. Mm. You know, and and you know when you, when you participate in those, you're basically saying to the spirit world, "Hey, I'm here." Right. It, it seems like um, you kind of listed just about anything that, that calls on, on spirits of any kind other than, um, other than God. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Um, you also mentioned meditation. I just want to follow up on that. You meant, did you mean specific forms of meditation or meditation in general? No, I would be much more, I, I don't mean meditation in general. I mean certain types of meditation where you would empty your mind of everything and allow whatever happens to be floating by to come into you and give you enlightenment. Um, right. That kind of meditation. Or med meditation that, you know, would not involve God, but would be much more secularized. I think you have to be very careful. What about meditation? Some people meditate just... Um to relax, is that uh, all right, or is that um, potentially a danger? Again, I think as, as long as they're not uh, doing something that's going to open themselves up to anything that comes floating along. So, I mean, if, if people are doing breathing exercises, no, I don't see any harm in that. I don't see any real serious harm if you use yoga for purposes of exercise. There are exorcists who also think in general yoga is a bad thing. Because even even the gestures or the body movements all have a god attached to them. Well, I understand that, but I think there's. I have met people, including my mother, who would use yoga for simply relaxation, uh, or just for her, just to keep her limber, as opposed to people who use it for enlightenment and awareness and those kinds of things where I've had people come who use yoga that way and the kind of serious problems. All right. Um, well, that's, um, that's pretty much all of the questions that I have and all of the time that we have for them. So unless you have any, um, any last uh, remarks that you want to make. The only last remark I'd like to make is the remark I oftentimes give in my talks. Jesus says in the gospel, on 60 different occasions, do not be afraid. And so I would simply say that as, uh, in a sense, as a sort of a sign off, that we should be vigilant against personified evil. We should be uh, very aware of the ways to keep ourselves protected from personified or unpersonified evil. We should live in the light of God and His will. But in the same breath, we have, if we do not stay, all right. That Satan and God are not equals. Satan is a preternatural being. God is divine. And Satan cannot create. Only God can. Okay. Uh, Father Gary Thomas, thank you very much for your time. You're most welcome. Thanks for the asking me to be on and to do the interview.